Hello there. Today I'm going to be demoing my custom strat wiring. Um, this little toggle here is a uh, strato blaster. It's a buffer that I've got wired as a boost. Sorry, I need to screw in my pickup, my pick guard still, but I still gotta get in there and fix a little bit of wiring. Um, it's operational right now though. <laughs> um, so this is just something I added. However, hidden in this tone pot is a six-way rotary switch. This is a master tone, which actually works better with a strat because a lot of strats are standard strat. This is neck tone, this is middle tone, and when you have neck and middle on together, it fucks with each other and makes your tone super dull. And then you don't have tone control over the bridge. A master tone is just such a better idea. Um, I don't know why they didn't do that in the first place. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I've got this switch hidden. Now, it actually goes by the numbers. So when you're looking down at it, the first position is 10, and then it shows 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, oh, 5. The six positions um so yeah when it's in the first position this works completely like stock okay uh there's a lot of variation on how this works it basically rewires the bridge but in ninth position i can get bridge and neck on together or move it to here move the five way to here and get all three on this is just middle this is standard standard um, besides all that, um, I'm just going to go through the different sounds and let you hear for yourself. Because this doesn't just mix up these three in parallel, it has in series combinations. Uh, to pick two single coils in series is what a humbucker is. Um, so you're going to hear some higher output and beefier, bassier sound with more mids and bass. And it does out of phase sounds and then it does stuff like neck and bridge in series out of phase with the middle pickup in parallel. Um, I don't use it all the time, but it's pretty fun and very useful for recording. So without further ado, here's the sounds. Here's just my, uh, Strat in the first setting, regular neck pickup. All right, now I'm going to go to neck and bridge in parallel. So here's neck. Oh, here's neck. And here is the neck and bridge on together. Here's just neck again. Neck and bridge.
bridge and neck in series. Now, this isn't hum canceling, but it's a humbucker because it's two single coils in series. But to be hum canceling, one has to be one of the single coils has to be reverse wound. So the neck and bridge are wound the same uh, polarity direction. But check this out. <laughs> neck and bridge in series. This is just bridge. Humbucking neck and er, neck and bridge in series. Distorting more. Um, here's bridge and neck in series with the middle in parallel, so this will make it partially humbucking. Hear the difference? So it's bridge and neck in series with the middle in parallel, so it's all three on. <laughs> sounding tones like Mark Knopfler used and a few other famous people. Um, out of phase, I don't know how else to describe it. It sounds like a telephone sometimes. This is a uh, series out of phase. This is the bridge and neck in series, but out of phase. <laughs> Thank you. 
for an even thinner sound. All right, here is uh, bridge and neck in parallel, but out of phase. <laughs> with the middle in parallel. Palm canceling. That's a completely unique sound. louder the humbucking or the series positions get. Thunder out of a strike. <laughs> 